director online education uh, dr g malikarjuna okay thank you Welcome. i think i think we are we are live now okay uh hello everyone uh, there in bangladesh good afternoon i am quite delighted and happy today today uh, we have come up with a lot of surprises for you guys uh, and we are going to have this session in and around and it will revolve around online education uh, for the students in bangladesh uh, today we are going to have a panel discussion uh, about online education completely uh, being offered to the students and this will be online degree for an online world the subject line of this particular uh, webinar session i have uh, distinct distinguished guest who are like magnetic personality in the education domain i would like to i would take this uh, uh, privilege i would take uh, i would introduce you uh, all the panelists one by one first i'll go with uh, mr mohammad nurizaman who is the group ceo of uh, defodel education network welcome in the panel sir uh, we have we have uh, dr malika arjuna uh, gadappa who is the director online education for manipal university jaipur we have uh, mr k m hasan ripon who is the executive director of bangladesh skill development institute again uh, bsdi is the part of uh, defodil education network we have mr satish kumar who is head of global admissions uh from unix again under the uh, under the entity of manipal university manipal uh, group of education i'm i'm highly excited and delighted uh, to announce today that uh, uh, unix has collaborated with bangladesh skill development institute for online education and we officially announced today uh, that all online education and the degree program will be available for students in bangladesh uh these two entities bsdi and unix are under uh, two prestigious educational groups which is uh, manipal group of education and uh, defodil uh, education network uh, thank you so much everyone uh, today you are listening to us live and we will uh, you know guide you all about online education and let me give you little blue blueprint of this entire session how it is going to be uh from our panelist uh, members uh, we would uh, we would be on your behalf uh, since i am the host i am pretty excited uh, to ask questions to the panelist members it will be uh, it will be followed with a brief history about uh, both the entities which is uh, defodil uh, group of education and manipal group of education and then how uh, the role of bangladesh skill development institute is playing in bangladesh and then again unext under manipal uh, group of education uh, sir uh, mr nurizaman uh, sir i have uh, a, a question to you uh, which i would start with uh, if you can please uh, give little insight about uh, defodil education network about brief history and achievement of this institute Uh, or this group of education and how it is playing in uh, a vital role though people from bangladesh know defodil very well one of the prestigious educational group uh, but there could be some facts which people might not be aware of so please sir if you can give brief insight about uh, defodil uh, education network and the role of bsdi Uh, sir you are on mute i i think you may have to unmute sorry thank you thank you so much mr uh, uh, upendra mm -hmm. and definitely uh, welcome uh, mr uh, dr g mullika mullika ji definitely mr satish uh, from unex uh, who are uh, very much well known to us for a long time and my colleague mr kemasan ripon uh as you asked that defodil education network uh to tell about brief uh, uh, about defodil education network um uh, as you know that the defodil itself established in 1990 since then it was started as a training institute in the name of defodil computers limited Okay, sir. and that training unit was divided uh, 
as an independent training institute on 1997. And since then, up to today, we have 29 different institutes. Oh, great. Under the umbrella of the Free Education Network. And these 29 institutes, we have almost 35,000 plus students, almost 1,500 teachers and other staffs. And if you think about the Fudil family as a whole, then we have almost 3,000 plus, almost 4,000 employees. Uh, but in the Fudil Education Network, teachers is almost 1,500. And we, are, we have been providing 35,000 students countrywide. It's not only countrywide, we have a uh, few hundred students from Africa, not only Africa, different part of the world. Great. So this is uh, the current state of uh, Daffodil, in a nutshell, uh, Daffodil Education uh, Networks. There are very few statistics. And okay. you know that we have been uh, passing through a very tough time in the history of uh, human civilization. Absolutely. COVID-19. And during this COVID-19, the Afrodil Education Network has been doing staying fine, alhamdulillah, because we have been running our operation completely online. It's not only education, it's, it's the management is also we are doing through online. And among all other institutes, uh, there are very few institutes in Bangladesh, those who are uh, doing well through this uh, through online during this pandemic. And we are very lucky and we are very uh, proud to, to uh, become the member of the Education Network because we tried and we become successful to give the services to our loved students uh, during this pandemic and we are uh, growing day by day even even in this pandemic as well uh, i must say and that's all uh, probably uh, we are also thinking of uh, thinking of uh, going global uh, uh, that is also we have our plan and, and thank you so much that's all uh, in our share about the network Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much uh, for brief background about Daffodil uh, Education Network. Uh, I will link this question with uh, Dr. Malika Arjuna from Manipal University, Jaipur. Uh, if uh, Dr. Malik, if you can please uh, give us brief about uh, Manipal as a group of education, uh, for how long this group has been contributing in the education system, uh, particularly in India and abroad, and since you have you were a uh, uh, director of uh, distance education also and now you are director of online education so how this this university or group of education going to make a difference uh, in bangladesh students future so please if you can give little brief about uh, manipal university you are you are on mute i think that's mubendra uh... Uh, hello, uh, everyone. Uh, see, Manipal University uh, has a group in India is well known uh, for uh, medical education as well as hospital uh, education. Uh, it started somewhere actually, you know, uh, 68 years back in a small uh, location in Manipal. From there, actually, you know, it has grown into a big one of the well known uh, Manip uh, education group in the India. We have uh, almost nine universities spread across the world with three universities in India. One is Manipal uh, Academy of Higher Education, which is the mother of all our institutions, which is at Manipal. It, it was the first institution founded by the Manipal group. It is uh, some 68 years back has been founded and out of which the youngest one in India is Manipal University Jaipur. Ten years back, Manipal University Jaipur has been founded at uh, Rajasthan in India. And within 10 years, no, because we have that actually in the formula for framework actually, you know, for running a good uh, quality education uh, when compared to most of other institutions, this has gone in a higher trajectory in comes, uh, when compared to your uh, quality. See, in Rajasthan, it's the first university to be accredited by NAC. 
NAC is actually you know, a quality accreditation board in India, which accredits universities. And in Rajasthan, uh, Manipal University Jaipur was the first university to be accredited with A plus NAC accreditation. Okay. And uh, the reason uh, why actually now we are into online education is in uh, September 2020, because of COVID and in India, a new education policy has come up. As per which, you know, to increase the gross enrollment ratio, uh, as well as uh, to uh, make education accessible to a lot of uh, quality education, quality education accessible to all the people, uh, the government of India has come up with some regulations where some quality institutions with NAC accreditation above uh, A plus A, they can offer this online degree programs. And being Manipal University Jaipur, we are actually you know, one of the youngest university to be accredited with NAC A plus. We got approval for some eight programs in the last one year to run this online degree program. These online degree programs are completely online. Actually, what we have tried is actually you know, to get these regular programs and online programs almost same. Normally, what happens in a regular mode of education, a faculty teaches to the student then student actually, you know, if he has some doubts, he'll, he will go, he will read some reading material. Then he will have some doubts. He will talk to his peers, his students. He will learn something. Still, it is not cleared. He will come to the faculty and get this cleared. After that, what happens? You no, know, uh, Once student is clear, actually, he has to sufficient extent something he has learned about the content. He goes and actually tests himself in a regular mode. So while building this online degree programs, we are bought it as close as possible to the regular mode. Like if you see though, the online delivery, how we are envisaged is you no know, uh, student, the moment student gets admitted to an online degree program, we provide him a access to a learning management system. We are taken one of the world's best learning management system uh, from D12 Bright Space. So it has the content has in four quadrants. Like the you know, first quadrant will have a faculty-led videos. A faculty would have actually you know, based on the learning outcomes of every unit. He has recorded some videos and kept there. The student can go through that videos. Then after that, he has a, like a classroom. If a student goes to the classroom, he attends a class. Then quadrant two, we have actually you no know, reading material, which is actually mobile compatible also. If a student can access that content in mobile also, as well as a laptop, there he can read the content. Once uh, he has watched the class, then he has uh, read the reading material. He has some doubts. He can discuss with the students, his colleagues, in a discussion forum. After that, in the same discussion forum, he can pose a question to the faculty also. When these three things are completed, he can go and in quadrant four, we have self assessment quiz where the student can actually you know test his knowledge. This is how actually while we are uh, see online people, what happens now? Uh, always just in regular mode education cannot be replaced by any other mode of education. In between, actually, in, in India also, we are trying distance education where actually, you know, people used to send like actually, you know, reading material to the student and conduct some classes in actually, you know, a weekend, something like that. But here, the online mode of education has a lot of engagement. Student is going to have the best of both worlds, like a regular mode of education at his own time and convenience. Right. Okay. So right. Uh, our endeavor is, you know, to uh, make these quality programs uh, available to people across the world. See, as a NAC A+, even the UGC, the Indian regulatory body, has given only few universities with A+, NAC accreditation to offer these programs across the world. Okay, in that way, actually, you know, Manipal always keeps the student at the center of their universe. Whatever we do is the convenience of the student, given quality of education at, a, at his own convenience. Right. And uh, as I told, no, Manipal, uh, with almost nine universities across the world, we leverage the uh, faculties. We have faculties from actually Malaysia. We have faculties from Dubai. We have faculties from Nepal. We have faculties from Antigua. We leverage the uh, their strengths for this delivery, these online programs. Right. That's right. why I'm very happy, actually, you know, when uh, Satish has told me, you know, we are uh, in touch with Daffodils, which is one of the, the one of the top uh, four uh, units, uh, or, uh, universities in uh, Bangladesh, where actually as per Scopus, a lot of uh, publications in India, a lot of uh, nowadays, actually, last three, four years, there's a lot of actually, you know, uh, stress on research. I was very happy when actually I received a mail no, that no, uh, we are getting in touch with one of the uh, well-known group in Bangladesh. No, uh, I am very happy where actually you know, see we are also for quality and you are also for quality. You know, that's where actually you know, our both of our actually you know, we have the same DNA. It meets. 
right right absolutely right sir sir uh, a follow up question to this uh, history about manipal university uh, on behalf of uh, uh, students from bangladesh i would like to ask you uh, if you can uh, you know uh, throw some light on the alumni base of uh, manipal as a university or as a group of education who all oh, are the products see. of manipal because that will give a lot of confidence to the students who are uh, based in uh, bangladesh no see manipal as a group if you see you know uh, we have students spread across the world if uh, main manipal from the last 70 years we have been running there we have students across the world even actually you know uh, we have a university in east india uh, in sikkim sikkim manipal university we right. uh, last two years i had seen lot of people from bangladesh also joining uh, uh, sikkim manipal university uh, as of now actually in manipal university jaipur actually i have not come across actually any students from bangladesh but actually we will be happy to be actually you know uh, have uh, the first set of alumni from uh, online education right. right especially from bangladesh i know right. it's a way, manipal group is a very diverse group we have uh, students uh, from malaysia we have students from africa we have students from europe we have students from middle east and uh, nepal you no know, it's a very diverse group and you no know, we are actually culturally we are actually you know a little bit more uh, uh, compared to most of other universities you know, we are actually you know uh, culturally we are a uh, little bit closer to uh, middle east as well as actually you know our asian uh, countries you no know? there, right. there should not be any uh, i don't foresee any actually you know uh, issues when actually you know when compa- uh, when manipal ethics values uh when with that of uh, bangladesh right right thank you so much sir uh, for this uh, uh, brief introduction about manipal manipal as a group and the history of the manipal now i would like to uh, go to uh, mr ripon uh, with regards to you know uh, the role of uh, uh, bangladesh uh, skill development institute uh, mr ripon how do you see the role of bsdi in the education system Uh, in bangladesh as it is uh, uh, the entity which is under defodil uh, education network uh, but if you if you can throw some light uh, the role of uh, bsdi in uh, bangladesh and how student are being benefited or getting benefited into both the section whether it is a professional education or the academic education you are on mute i think i think uh we are three guest you know equally forgot to unmute ourselves <laughs> uh, anyway thank you thank you mr bopendra thank you so very much and uh, uh, from bangladesh and beyond bangladesh who are watching us uh, i'd like to start with islamic greeting assalamu alaikum uh, uh, nice to meet with you uh, mr uh, g uh, malik mr satish and our honorable ceo uh, mr mohammad zaman Uh, actually uh, bangladesh skill development institute is working to develop both the hard skills and also the soft skills and also international internationalization is one of the agenda of bsdi so last 17 months what we have seen what we have done in bangladesh you know we want we we uh, try to aware our youth to develop skills from wherever uh, it is possible from offline from online and uh, you'll be happy to know that in bangladesh we are one of the uh, very uh, the few institutes uh, including bsdi uh, who offered complete online uh, skills development program in bangladesh entire uh, you know daffodil group and bsdi since uh, you know uh, from its target uh, customer or i would say the target market is you know uh, you know all the universities all the polytechnics all the colleges uh, so so uh, to uh, you know to uh, get involved uh, mainly our uh, our students we uh, we try to aware our students so that they can get online you know uh, degrees or skills program so uh, today is a very uh, i would say uh, it's a very uh, big day for bangladeshi students like one of the top prestigious universities like manipal university uh, open their doors for our students so uh, I-, i want to congratulate all the students uh, bangladeshi students uh, mainly uh, that they can now earn an online degree from one of the top prestigious universities 
and a BSDI. Uh, BSDI is, uh, you know, uh, uh, we are we are very happy to uh, provide the services on behalf of Manipal University, uh, especially in, in terms of you know uh, you know uh, to make the path very smooth uh, during their uh, study. Bangladesh is now very very uh, I would say prominent or uh, promising a uh, country. Uh, because we have adopted this new technologies. Most of our youth, most of our young talents, most of our students, they are now habituated with this online degree. Before pandemic, pandemic the situation was different, like uh, people were a little bit hesitant, like whether this online education, online skills or online degrees, you know, is it okay? Or uh, am I able to understand? But last 17 months practice, it's completely changed the scenario. I can give you a little data, like, uh, you know, uh, in the last 17 months, we have covered almost 10,000 students under BSDI uh, banner. We have our online skills program, uh, Skills Online. We, we termed it Skills Online. And through this banner, we have, you know, provided all types of, uh, you know, short course, long course, even some international programs. So as I said, one of the agendas is internal internationalization. So we, you know, invite international partners and we are very happy that Manipal University tied up with BSDI and I hope that together we will, we will create another history, you know, uh, you know, especially earning online degrees. Uh, in the in the name of uh, UNEXT and uh, BSDI umbrella. So thank you so very much, and I hope uh, I covered your uh, no questions. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Ripon. Uh, thank you for this uh, great insight about uh, BSDI. Now I'll shift. I'll I'll move towards Mr. Satish Kumar, who is the head of uh, international admissions. Uh, Mr. Sadish, uh, I would like to, on behalf of uh, uh, people from Bangladesh, I would like to understand uh, what is the role of uh, uh, entity uh, which we were, which we are talking about Unixt in collaboration with BSDI. So, how do you see uh, the global footprint of Unixt and uh, what kind of role this entity is playing in terms of online education? Uh, thank you, Bupen. Uh, Greetings, everyone, the panelists uh, on the uh, talk show, and everyone who is watching us uh, from Bangladesh and outside Bangladesh. Uh, so, salam alaikum. I'm connected right now from Dubai, uh, and a lot of uh, Bangladeshi friends here with us uh, who do come and visit uh, for us joining the online degree programs. Uh, if I talk about you next, uh, UNEXT is one of the entity under the Manipal Education and Medical Group. Uh, the whole premise of establishing UNEXT uh, of late is that uh, it's the next generation online learning organization, uh, very focused on the higher education ecosystem. Uh, like you heard from Dr. Malik that September 2020, uh, the University Grant Commission approved very specific universities for uh, the online degrees bid. And that's where we as a group felt that why not to take it and meet the fundamental pillars that Manipal believes in, uh, which is serving. And whatever we are doing under the UNEXT and Manipal University online degrees, the fundamental focus is how do we improve access and how do we increase the affordability? While anyways, we uh, are, have been providing the quality education for the last 70 years. So if I talk specifically the role of UNEXT, uh, UNEXT would be enabling the tech enablement uh, of the all these students, working professionals who would be enrolling themselves into the online degrees. Now, uh, that's that's a very essential part if you look about online because it's not only self-paced. Uh, when people hear online, one of the misconceptions is that, am I going to study self? But the online degrees are a very strong blend where you would be learning from the professors in the live lectures over a particular schedule. And then you would be doing a lot of self-study as well. So the platform becomes very, very important. So at Unix Manipal, the platform that we use, it's one of the best education LMS platform in the world, where right now in the first intake itself of online degree in April 2021, we had onboarded about 4,000 students in different degrees. And these 4,000 students come in from 30 different countries. 
Now, it was very overwhelming response for us uh, at UNEX uh, to see that first time online degree is being launched by the governing body itself. And you have people and students coming in from 30 different countries. So if I talk about the global footprint, uh, that's the that was the first success that we had in a very short span of time. And today, as we speak, while we are in process of the second intake of online degrees, and the classes will start from 15th of December, uh, we are very positive that we would have about 10,000 odd stu active students by December uh, who would be undergoing different degrees uh, that we're talking about here. Now, uh, to go more specific about the uh, global footprint, if I talk about Manipal ecosystem, uh, some of the areas mentioned by Dr. Malik earlier that we have nine international campuses. But point to note is many of these campuses have huge history. Uh, so our Malaysia campus is there for decades, our uh, Antigua US campus is there for since long, our Dubai campus is there for past 20 years, so is all other campuses. So it's a 70 years old history uh, that we create. And the last point, if I can address to your question, Prasad, is assessment is one of the uh, center when it comes to distance education or online education. And students always have an apprehension, how will I be assessed, right? Even in, in the campus programs uh, or in distance education, uh, there was a way of assessing students. You know, there's an invigilator. Uh, somebody sits standing in the class and you can, you know, do the invigilation. So assessment becomes a very important part. And that's where UNEX becomes the first ever entity uh, from India, which has a potential or rather has a strength of addressing both the platform from a learning standpoint and assessment. Now, online degree may be new, but assessment alone, if I touch upon, which is a critical part of the online degree journey, UNEX have done over 50 million assessments in the last 20 years in different capacities. So assessment is not new to us. And if I talk only the last 17, 18 months, which is the pandemic or post pandemic time, uh, we have done over 6 million student assessments uh, with different universities. And when I say different universities, it is not only Manipal University. I'm talking at least 15 to 20 different educational institutes from India and outside India who have utilized our assessment platform to assess their students during the entire pandemic uh, situation. So that's where UNEX will be assisting people on onboarding. It will be assisting people in terms of their learning journey, and it will assist uh, in strong assessment suit. Great, great. great. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Satish. Uh, as so far, uh, we have discussed uh, you know, both, both the entities, like both the prestigious educational group. And we have understood that this pandemic situation, this COVID-19 has actually, you know, affected lives of each individual uh, into all the section of life if i and education is one of them uh, for last one and a half years uh, education system and the complete dynamics have got changed people are now uh, like you know completely thinking from online perspective but still i feel that uh, some of the people uh, still think uh, in a conventional way where they feel that you know uh, till the time we are not in the offline mode we are not learning face to face we will not get that good uh, quality education but that is where we have to uh, make uh, more clarity to the students and particularly in uh, students from bangladesh that how this online education uh, going to create difference uh, in their coming future uh, i would like to, before we shift towards uh, some more questions towards online uh, related education i would like to uh, share my screen and i would like to play one small video uh, from president of manipal university jaipur for online education uh, what is his message to the common public to the uh, future students uh, of manipal university jaipur so allow me a second i would like to share my screen and uh, you would be able to watch a video So he is President uh, Dr. G.K. Prabhu uh, from Manipal University, Jaipur. I would like to play a small message from him. In the university, emphasis is given for an experiential learning. Faculty members engage all the students uh, very meaningfully in uh, minor projects and all these research uh, initiatives have taken where the students are involved 
online learning can be made more uh, impactful by selecting a proper technical platform, having a more engagement by using a learning management system. The teachers must also engage more productively and the evaluation system must be more transparent and rigorous. Maintaining a good student life cycle management, having a continuous uh, faculty engagement and also helping and handholding the students for their career development. These features makes MUJ Online a differentiator when compared to the other online programs. In its ninth year of existence, Manipal University Jaipur received the NAC A plus accreditation. This makes the university the first ever in the entire Rajasthan to receive this recognition. And I am very proud of Manipal University Jaipur in its quality journey. In the next five years, Manipal University Jaipur will be the most preferred education universities in India for both campus-based as well as the online education degree programs. The spirit of uh, MUJ can be defined in terms of uh, young, energetic, contemporary, and vibrant. So thank you so much uh, for watching this video. It was a small message uh, by the president. Uh, now moving towards uh, some more questions towards uh, online education. I would request uh, Dr. Malik, I mean, as you already uh, uh, you know, gave insight about online education and uh, how it is uh, playing a vital role in uh, students' uh, future or career. Uh, if you can, you know, uh, if you can uh, throw some more light in terms of you know what all elements are involved in online education and how additionally it is going to benefit any individual who is uh, aiming of any online degree from bangladesh what would be what what kind of elements are involved how additional benefit they are getting out of any uh, online mode of learning dr malik are you able to hear me you are on mute. Please uh, unmute yourself. Uh, I think uh, Bupendra, in between, I lost you actually. Uh, I understand you are asking how actually these online programs are going to benefit the students of Bangladesh. Right. right. And how this learning journey is going to be because he's a uh, student okay. might feel that, you know, it could be like, okay, to like see if you have seen the last uh, 10 years, uh, the technological disruption has happened. If you see currently some 20 years back, the top 10 companies or top 50 companies in the world some uh, 30, 50 years back and the current uh, top uh, 10 companies, no, hardly you see one, one or two companies. Most of the companies are actually, you know, you would have never thought this sort of actually companies will come into existence. But uh, now the technology has come to the stage where any technology, any skill you will learn is going to become absolute in next two years. That is because of what happens when you go to a structured education, like in a campus based education, where a curriculum gets fixed. And no, you need to study. Sometimes it may happen by the time you pass out from the uh, program, the skills what you have learned would not have been, uh, there is no use for that actually in the uh, job market. That's where these online programs will come into picture, where actually you, know, you have a lot of flexibility, where uh, you can, uh, the industry relevant curriculum can be embedded into these online programs. At the same time, what we are envisaged is, you know, come to, coming to the uh, education degree programs, you should have a structured curriculum which get approached by the concerned board of studies. And no, it cannot, we cannot change it in between. So what we are done, we are intelligently embedded this online programs with Coursera programs. See, Coursera, as you know, has almost 7,000 programs spread across different uh, domains with from topmost uh, universities as well as uh, uh, organizations which have a lot of uh, industry relevant uh, programs, certification programs. Any student who is going to join into the uh, Manipal Institute of Jaipur online programs, especially PG programs, he will get free access to the Coursera programs. So in the end, what happens? The student is going to get actually best of both worlds. One is actually is going to get a, a degree program which is recognized. At the same time, he's going to get the industry relevant skills from Coursera also. And these programs, actually Coursera programs, you can do as many as possible in your tenure. Like when it's an MBA program, you have two years program. You can do uh, as per your 
ability and convenience you can do any number of programs there is no bar you will be given the two years pro this thing that is one thing coming to this online uh, degree programs see as i told earlier see always people had apprehension that online degree programs means no it's like actually no uh, right. student will not have any connect with the faculty student will not have any uh, you will study on his own there is the disconnect so there will student may not have that experiential learning something like that but you had seen in the last one and a half year because of covid lot of actually ch uh, changes had happened at the same time lot of technology also actually you know has caused disruption where you no know, now the online degree programs the student will have the same experience what he had in your regular mode of education at the same time with additional advantage of it at his own convenience time as well as place as, as you see as i told earlier also what happens in regular mode of education the structured time the structured schedule you need to go at a class in a particular time whereas in online mode of education you have everything content available in your learning management system apart from that if you have any doubts if you want to have some interaction with the faculty you have been provided with a discussion forum where you can go and pose these questions to the faculty faculty will revert to you with uh, this thing apart from that every weekend saturdays and sundays university faculty for every subject will conduct one hour live class for example in a semester you have first semester you have four subjects in a particular program so every week student will have four live classes directly beam from manipal university jaipur where the faculty will be touching upon the uh, content which has not available in your lms so right. oh, oh, this is how actually no we are try to bring these programs as close as to the regular mode of education with added advantage of having the flexibility and convenience right 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 sir and particularly uh, this is much convenient and easy mode of learning for working professionals because as they on the one hand they are like you know busy in their work schedules and uh, yes. they look up to you know uh, this uh, flexible kind of program and i think this has this will definitely bring change uh, in 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 their yes, certainly uh, to add one more also like you no know, the live class i told saturday sunday's live class will be conducted for some reason if you are not able to attend this live classes also the mm -hmm. recorded session of the live classes will be made available in your learning management system for student so student is not going to lose anything it is at mm -hmm. his own convenience he can learn but he should learn right so right. Uh, he has everything if he wanted uh, and apart from that no once a student gets admitted into the university we will provide a course meant dedicated course mentor to every student like you no know, every two free students one faculty will be allotted he will be like a relationship in, in terms of your banking terminology i can say relationship manager who will be in constant touch with the student uh, guiding the student in his academic journey right right thank you so much sir uh, for giving more clarity on this uh, online mode of learning and the benefits now i would like to uh, go to mr satish kumar who can give uh, some more insight about different degree programs which are available and from students uh, understanding point of view what are the eligibility criteria what are the additional benefits which we are providing and is there any scholarship which is available to join these program how affordable these programs would be uh for the students in bangladesh okay yeah uh, yeah thank you abu ben uh, so you have actually clubbed two three important points so my response could be a little longer to this uh so first is which all online degrees are there so uh, if i talk about under the manipal uh, education group uh, there are about 300 different uh, courses which are in different institutions universities pretty much in every stream but particularly in online degree uh, they are the uh, youngest uh, uh, entry to the manipal education family as the government have approved recently so there are eight online degrees uh, which are available and these are uh, mba masters in business administration uh, it's a bba bachelor uh, business administration uh, it's bcom bachelor of commerce mcom masters of commerce uh, it's bca bachelors in computer application masters in computer application and uh, we have also brought in a very uh, uh, you know kind of new area which have taken a strong dimension in the last decade which is journalism and mass communication so both students and working professional can also aspire to uh, be towards a masters in journalism and mass communication 
so it's not only that uh, only students can look for uh, journalism and mass communication even the working professionals who wish to enhance their uh, business communication their speaking ability uh, their stage presence felt and more insights uh, in terms of journalism and mass communication they can go for it so these are various degrees uh, which are available and more importantly uh, like dr malik mentioned that the current integration of industry requirement when we talk about skilling when we talk about reskilling is very very important so many of these degrees if you talk about let's say mba there are eight different electives a person can choose from you have the traditional electives which is hr which is finance which is marketing so mba in hr mba in hr mba in marketing uh, but there are about five of them which are all very latest so you have mba in data analytics for example you have in fintech we are talking about financial technology and fintech is one of the most evolving uh, industry you have mba in retail you have mba in operations so these are different electives that you have that you can choose in your semester 3 and semester 4 mba in a similar manner there are very latest specialization and content plugged in in the bachelors in the mca in bca bba all these different degrees so that's one part which makes the content very relevant and the curriculum is with respect to the recent expectations of the industry uh, the second part uh, which you said that how uh, students will a uh, student journey will look like so i think dr malik have uh, quite addressed it where you can see that a student comes into the ecosystem they will have their learning management system uh, they will attend uh, and review all the material case studies curriculum they will receive into the system so they don't have to invest on any additional material uh, students will uh, undergo classes where they will receive the communication and the schedule uh, semester wise um, if they miss a lecture they will have the recording in their lms for the missed lecture every weekend to make it more uh, collaborative in terms of industry standard every weekend every 7 to 10 days not only they will attend their university lectures they will be an industry uh, simulation also so every one week to 10 days there is a industry guest lecture like in the conventional manner we have guest speakers coming in universities in a quarter you know once in a quarter once in two months three months here in a year a student will have an opportunity to listen to 40 50 different industry experts so that really increases the bounds of rationality of students and these are all the features which are there in your lms and it's there on the website as you go to onlinemanipal.com you go to unix.com you will find all these videos for a student review uh, how their journey would look like and uh, uh, the third part of your question which you said uh, the scholarship part uh, yes uh, it, it will indeed be our honor as we are uh, going to welcome more and more students from bangladesh we already have a few students and working professional who have registered in the current intake from bangladesh and that's where uh, it's it's a good collaboration with bsdi uh, to take this and scale more and make it more available for the bangladesh students and working professional so certainly there will be a specific scholarships available under different categories which could be merit based scholarship which could be a non working women based scholarship which could be scholarship for people who would have unfortunately lost their jobs recently but there will be scholarships for differently abled people and lot of other categories so uh, uh, these are the various opportunities that these students and working profession professionals both will hold and the last part of the eligibility Uh, the eligibility is that every student who wants to enroll for a degree he must have completed the prerequisite education so for example if you want to do a bachelor's degree uh, with us in online mode you must be a grade 12 or your schooling must have completed similarly if you want to do a master's degree your graduation should be completed which is a prerequisite in terms of education and you should have achieved at least 50% or you can say 5 cgpa in your uh, previous prior education so these are some of the uh, uh, eligibility criteria uh, which people needs to meet before we register them uh, and that's how the overall journey will look like for example oh okay thank you so much satish uh, for great insight about degree programs uh, eligibility criteria and the scholarship which is available for the students definitely this is help uh, students in terms of if i talk about scholarship financially it is going to uh, help them to take their decision uh, for these online degree yeah. 
Yeah, uh, and, and sorry to interrupt. I think an important point I missed. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. We'll certainly have some, like as we're launching this news today with BSDI and Deputy Group, we'll shortly have some very good scholarship opportunities specific to Bangladesh. So it'll be localized in the Bangladesh context. So that's Great. very, very important. And you spoke about affordability also in your question. So all these degrees, because that's an objective and purpose, they're very affordable. And I would not hesitate in mentioning and expressing this uh, gesture from our side that if along the way we realize that there should be a little bit of more revision to some of these fees, we'll be very open to work on that along with BSDI for the benefit of Bangladeshi students and working professionals. Oh, that is quite exciting. Um, thank you so much, Satish, uh, for more clarity on this. Uh, now I'll move towards uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Nuruzaman, uh, sir. Sir, my question to you towards the future of online education in Bangladesh as uh, 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 Dr. Malik uh, thrown light on the online mode of education by Manipal University, Jaipur. And uh, from Bangladesh perspective, how it is going to be a game changer in the, in, the, in the career of any particular individual who is aspiring to pursue any degree program through online mode. So how do you see the future of online education in Bangladesh? Sir, it's over to you. You are on mute, sir. I'm so sorry. Please unmute yourself. Yeah. Uh, thank, thank you so much. Uh, uh, it's a very, very fantastic, fantastic questions. Uh, online education uh, already uh, it has been started long before, almost two decades. But somehow the online education or e-learning or whatever you say. Uh, uh, was not becoming popular because of a lot of various reasons. But th this COVID-19 has pushed us, it's right. not only Bangladesh, it's globally, that this COVID-19 shake the whole world. Absolutely, sir. Especially for, for this online education. Earlier, uh, if you, uh, if I, I, I say uh, two terms like cross-border higher education or trans uh, transnational higher education, mm -hmm. it has happened in different way. Right. Uh, but this transnational higher education or maybe the cross-border higher education will become very easy for the students around the globe because of the evolution of online education that has been uh, driven by this COVID-19. And now right. the students around the globe are habituated to take the class uh, through online. Mm -hmm. right. That was the main problem of online education. In one right. research, uh, I, I, I read it almost uh, Five, five years back, in online education, there are 90% students that drop out. Oh. But during mm -hmm. this COVID 19, it has become reverse. Correct. There was no alternative of taking mm -hmm. online lessons. And for that reason, this is now, uh, uh, is a, it, it has become a very prospective uh, thing. And these on, taking online lessons has become the uh, practice for the, our students. It's not only for Bangladeshi students, it's a global. Uh, it's now a global right. Country. Absolutely, sir. So, Absolutely. What, what advantages? There's a lot of advantages, uh, Dr. Molly has uh, said, but from my point of view, I, I should say, is uh, for this online education, any particular student can take lessons from uh, the topmost teachers around the globe from anywhere. This is from student point of view. If I say about the teacher's point of view, a teacher, mm -hmm. if he or she has the capability, she can, she can expose or he can expose him throughout the world. Absolutely. And if an institution wants that institution can become renowned globally for the global students, it's not right. for a particular jurisdiction or particular Absolutely. Absolutely. For in terms of students, 
in terms of teachers, uh, that is faculties, in terms of institutions. This Good. three stakeholders, the main stakeholders, can become uh, very, very, uh, uh, what is called, that is beneficial. Uh, Absolutely. And Absolutely. another point is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that for the beauty is for online education is, uh, it could be happened completely real time. It could be happened even off time from real right. time. So that's the beauty of this online education. Just uh, the listeners, that is the students, need to be habituated with this uh, 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 online education. And that has been done already uh, due Absolutely. to this uh, COVID-19. And Absolutely. I see very, very uh, prospective uh, uh, things in the coming days or three stakeholders, students, teachers, and institutions. And Absolutely. Not. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Because I also look at it like, sir, uh, in, in our normal life also, uh, every challenge brings it like, you know, opportunities right. also along with it. Right. So, the oh, pandemic situation has been very tough. Uh, people have gone through so much. People, uh, like, you know, financially they struggled. In education uh, term also, they have struggled a lot. So, this online degree, I'm... 100% confident that you know it is going to be a game changer in students life as you mentioned that uh, one part is live lectures which they are going to uh, hear from professors directly and the beauty of this program is accessibility of professors of Manipal University across the globe it's not only restricted to one university campus so that is the beauty of this program uh, professors experience from all, all across the campuses all nine universities will be involved in it and that will definitely uh, give a different perspective to uh, a common student uh, from Bangladesh and across the globe for that matter. Uh, thank you so much, sir, uh, for your perspective. Uh, and uh, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, to add to that, actually, no, uh, Nuzur Zaman, Nuzur Zaman Saba said, no, see, this online education has taken the physical barrier for students as well as the faculty. It has taken away the physical barrier of actually moving to a university to get access to a quality education. This online education now, the pandemic has actually, you know, it has accelerated it, but no, it has taken away the physical barrier. Student, if any faculty, any quality faculty sitting at uh, anywhere in the world can is accessible to a student sitting anywhere in the uh, world. So that's a, that's a great opportunity which I'm online is going to provide to the students of not only Bangladesh, everybody in the world. See, that physical barrier just taken away. Now you can learn from best of the best in the world. That's right. actually you know, one of the great thing which has happened. Uh, the pandemic has accelerated it, but no, the technology is moving. See, this technology disruption is happening across the globe in every mode of uh, life. So right. now time has come for education. So this online education is going to completely disrupt everything, the way actually we are reading, the way we are going to study, the way we are going to acquire our skills. Absolutely, in sir. That, absolutely. In that I believe this online education is going to play a big part. Correct. Correct. Very well said, sir. Uh, thank you so much uh, for this clarity once again. And I'm sure uh, students must be watching this uh, uh, show today and they must be getting more clarity about online education. And now moving towards uh, Mr. Ripon because uh, he's the key person in the, in the, in the, in the show and uh, we are going to understand uh, from him and it is uh, very uh, much important from students' point, standpoint that how these courses will be accessible to all uh, the students who are aspiring to come out of the degree program uh, from Manipal University, Jaipur. Uh, 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 Mr. Ripon, if you can throw some light, how these program will be accessible to the common students from Bangladesh, how they can approach you, how they can get in touch with uh, BSDI. And uh, if you can, sir, please, if you can throw light on this part, because this is the most important. Yeah, uh, thank you so very much. And I can also see uh, some 
you know, uh, interested candidates already yes. uh, thrown Absolutely. some uh, questions. So I hope uh, we will address those as well. Yes. Uh, yes. From BSDI part, since Bangladesh Skill Development Institute, uh, you know, initiated this, uh, launched this, uh, you know, online degree uh, on behalf of our students. And uh, if they want to join the Manipal University uh, for uh, any program that already Mr. Satish mentioned. Right. Uh, so uh, since it's online degree, so all communication would be online, first of all. So right. uh, we have our own Facebook uh, profile, social media portfolios like LinkedIn, YouTube, or Facebook, they can directly access. Also, we have our own website. It is called bsdi-bd.org, where we have our pool of counselors will be there. Mm -hmm. So anyone who wants to speak with our counselors, so they can easily select the person whom uh, she or he wants to speak. So he or she can easily connect with, uh, you know, virtual call or video call. Or even uh, since we have our own physical uh, existence, uh, physical evidence like we have our campus in the heart of the city called Dhanmundi. So we have our own campus there. So anyone can uh, visit our office directly and uh, our, our, our uh, colleagues are there to welcome them. And, uh, you know, virtual all media like email, WhatsApp, phone, uh, virtual call, Zoom meeting, or Google Meet, whatever, you know, uh, uh, things, ex uh, you know, possible for them to make a call for us, uh, now we are available. So the point is, BSDI is, you know, uh, open, both the online and off offline options, you right. know, to get their admissions for money for the university. Great, great. Thank you, Mr. Vipon, uh, for this clarity. Uh, now I'm very... I have a question. I can be before you. Ben, yeah. before you go to the comments, before you go to mm -hmm. comments and the question, uh, I have a question for Mr. Ripon, uh, because I have seen Ripon being quite a youth icon in Bangladesh, and I've been seeing him for over a decade. A lot of work that he does is very active himself on social media. So what would be one message, uh, Mr. Ripon, you will give uh, uh, to the youth? And when I say youth, it's both students and working professional who probably could not complete their degrees earlier for whatever reason and aspire to study. So what will be your one message to the youth of Bangladesh? Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Satish. Yes, we have a long, I guess, 20, 12 years long uh, friendship. And uh, uh, for, for, Bangladeshi, uh, for Bangladeshi youth who are uh, working professionals or who are students, <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but if I may request you to express this in Bangla for the audience. Uh, okay. Yes. okay. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Satish. Uh, uh, Bangladesh, Bangladesh, Jarai Amadar came to the Dekchen. I mean, I'm going to say that the first thing is that the education is easy. I'm going to say that the education is easy. I'm going to say that the education is easy. I'm going to say that the speakers are uh, easy. Dr. G. Malik Arjuna. Uh, uh, Mr. Satish Kumar, our CEO, Mr. Mamanur Zaman, sir, Mr. Bupendra. I'm a shockly bullet. He J. A. Muhute up the J. Level Yachin. Abna Juno Akon degree or Junkara, but Dokota or Junkara came to cook posture Bapana. Cook shows Bapa Shudumatra Abnari to uh, Iti Bachok Manushikota Lagbe. To Iti Bachok Manushikota did it hake, Tahole. আমি মনে করি আপনাদের জন্য ইজি আপনি যে পজিশনে এখন আছেন আপনি যদি এখন কাজ করছেন কোথাও কোন অর্গানাইজেশনে কাজ করছেন আর আপনি মনে করছেন যে ইয়েস আমার আমি হয়তো ডিগ্রি পাস করে জয়েন করেছি আমার অর্গানাইজেশনে নাও আই नीड टू डू माय এমবিএ আমার এমবিএ দরকার সো আপনি ইজিলি জয়েন করতে পারেন মাস্টার্স প্রোগ্রামে আপনি যদি মনে করেন যে না আমি ইন্টারমিডিয়েট পাস করার পরেই কর্মক্ষেত্রে ঢুকে গিয়েছিলাম সো আমার এখন ডিগ্রি দরকার সো আপনি ডিগ্রিতে আসতে পারেন সেই দরজাও আপনার জন্য খোলা তার মানে আমি এখন বলতে যাচ্ছি যে বাংলাদেশ এমন একটা পজিশনে বর্তমানে আছে যেখানে মানে আমি পড়ব পড়ব কিভাবে এই প্রশ্নটি মনে হয় আর ভ্যালিড না আপনাদের জন্য এখন উন্মুক্ত পুরো বিশ্ব আপনি যে স্বপ্নই দেখেন সেই স্বপ্ন বাস্তবায়ন করা আপনার জন্য এখন খুব ইজি যদি আপনার কাছে আমি জানি আপনাদের সবার কাছে এই ডিভাইস আছে সো যারা স্টুডেন্ট যারা প্রফেশনাল আপনারা যদি মনে করেন যে ইয়েস ইটস দ্য টাইম আপনার এডুকেশনকে সামনে এগিয়ে নেবার জন্য বিএসডিআই ইজ হিয়ার 
Manipal University is here and we we'll, we are welcoming you all. Thank you. Thanks Adesh. Thank you so much. Oh, 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 oh. We can say yeah. Khub Balo. I mean, it was very nice. Uh, in, in Bangla language, one of the one of the sweetest language on the planet, I would say. Thank uh, you. And uh, uh, I think now uh, uh, we would move towards the messages which we are receiving in the comment box. We will uh, go one by one. Uh, so how are you all, uh, dear friends? Uh, I think uh, I am the face for you today because I will be um, narrating all the questions which you have put up into the chat box. So I will ask uh, 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 distinguished guests today. Uh, since there are many questions, I'll go one by one. Uh, I can see uh, there is one question. Uh, will uh, these program be approved by Bangladesh government? And how many countries uh, will be approved for it? Means uh, the question which I can understand is a student or person is asking uh, from global acceptance point of view. So I think Satish, uh, you may uh, throw some more light on this uh, global acceptability of uh, this online mode of learning uh, degree. Uh, uh, I'll answer it and I'll also probably have Mr. Ripon touch upon specific to the Bangladesh point. Uh, if we talk from the global standpoint, because all these degrees are UGC approved degrees, which is University Grant Commission India, uh, they are quite rated at par with the campus programs by UGC and they have specified it in some of the guidelines, which is a very positive point. Uh, if we talk, if any student who is doing these degrees willing to go for a higher degree anywhere in the world, these degrees are considered for uh, those requirements. If anybody is willing to go for immigration to Australia, Canada, US, you know, and uh, they want to get it evaluated by some of the international bodies, let's say West, for example, World Education Services Canada, uh, it's very well evaluated by West. All the Manipal universities uh, are approved uh, or the degrees under Manipal universities are evaluated uh, under West. So this is where the global uh, standpoint exists. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, as an institution, we have had students for from about 100 old countries in the last 70 years. And specifically in the online degrees also, uh, in the first intake itself, we had students coming in from 30 different countries. And the current intake already have students about 35, 36 countries who have registered with us, including some students from Bangladesh, like I mentioned already. So that's the that's where the global approval comes in place. There are all accreditations in place. It's best evaluated and university rates it at par. Uh, or, and then some countries specifically have some additional requirements where if there's any need uh, to uh, put in any application for any such consent locally from the Bangladesh, we'll go for that also. And I'll have Mr. Ripo and touch upon on that. Uh, I, I, want to, I, I want to answer this question in Bangla so that uh, the gentleman who asked this question, uh, he and other participants can understand. For example, like I uh, America ye porashona korte chai, ba ami jodi achke mane Bangladesh baire je kono bishwabidyalay porashona korte chai, definitely shei particular university ta shei deshe approve kina sheta amader check korte hoy. Erpor jokhon apni porashona shesh kore Bangladesh e phire ashen, apni jodi Bangladesh er kono ekta mane job sector e join korte chan je khane government recognition dorkar, tokhon amra ekta equivalent certificate niye nei from Bangladesh government. So in that case, like uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, like if you if you study in India or if you study in UK, America, whenever you get your degree, when you come back to your country, Bangladesh, then you will get an equivalent certificate from the relevant ministries or uh, uh, UGC. So uh, it actually doesn't uh, doesn't matter like uh, whether uh, all the global universities require you know our government approved, but. One one thing is very important is that the university where you are going to study it's approved by its uh, relevant ministries or uh, as as uh, Mr. Satish mentioned that all the uh, programs that are being offered through online is approved by Indian UGC University Grants Commission India so it is approved so when you complete the degree and come back to Bangladesh then you will get equivalent certificate if required. Great. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Rikon, uh, for this clarity to the students, uh, to the people who are watching this show uh, live. Uh, uh, Mr. Satish, uh, the next question for you, actually, there is uh, one, uh, the question is not that clear, but what I understood is how will all the courses here be online? So if, if may I request you, if we can, you know, uh, show them the journey of online mode of learning, 
through in a, in a, in a video form for 2 3 minutes uh, the video i think is available uh, if you if if you if may I request if that video can be played so that you know it will give more clarity to the people who are watching it like yeah uh, in interest of time uh, i would just show a glimpse of it uh, because it it is a 5 minutes video if i play it complete more than 5 minutes But or or we can do miss uh, satish we can do one thing we can go all the questions first uh, yes, and at yeah. the end and then we can play it yeah correct, correct. for example uh, mr bhupen i can uh, you know uh, i can see one question which is uh, i i think uh, you know someone said uh, sm abu ahmed he said like is there any convocation or what would be the certificate type is it online or is it soft copy or hard copy so that's yes. the yes. answer <laughs> i would like to take that uh, i yeah. like to take that thing see the uh, once every semester student will get a e marks card but once a student completes his degree a physically printed degree certificate as well as the consolidated marks card containing all semester's mark sheets will be sent to the student address it might be his home address or whatever address he provides and we are also planning to have some e convocation okay so student will get a physically printed degree certificate as well as e marks uh, physical printed degree certificate as well as consolidated marks card containing all semester's uh, marks and this uh, degree certificate or consolidated marks card will be same as what is given to the manipal university regular mode of students but only will mention the mode of academic delivery is online education that right. is as per the regulations ugc regulations Thank you. And also, I would like to add, if any of you is willing to uh, visit campus in person to have experience once you have completed your degree, or if you are in India and you wish to pay a visit, uh, you can of course connect with the course mentor with PSDI with MUJ, and you will be most welcome. Will be hosted as a student or as an alumni, whatever is the status that time at the campus. So, answer to that question is, it will be eventually hard copy. of all the semester results and the degree okay uh, thank you sadish for this uh, more clarity on this and doctor uh, thank you dr malik uh, we are moving towards another question uh, which is uh, uh, one gentleman asking how is the process of your masters program uh, process means i mean like the getting enrolled i think he is uh, trying to ask Okay, if 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 that's the question, like how do we enroll for any degree, uh, be it masters or bachelors? Uh, like uh, Mr. Ripon expressed, various channels you can connect with uh, BSDI. Uh, that's one way, or you can go to onlinemanipal.com or unex.com, put in an inquiry. That inquiry will go back to uh, the BSDI team. A BSDI team will connect with you as soon as you. put in inquiry automatically an application form will be launched to your email id that you put in you can start your application the application has three parts part 1 is all the generic and educational information which is your name email id number address and the educational information your whatever is the uh, education status part 2 is the payment now certainly i would recommend you to have a conversation with the bsdi team before you go to payment because those who are eligible for scholarship they would be getting the scholarship in relative coupon code where your fee will be discounted and benefited you complete the payment and then the third part you upload the documents these are the three steps from the student standpoint once you complete these three steps within a week to two weeks window university will uh, review your application and will give you a feedback the feedback could be an approval the feedback could be any additional requirement and one of the specific requirement could be the aiu equivalency which of course as you connect with bsti team you will get more info about it and they will assist you and facilitate uh, the process for that but that's a difficult process to apply for masters or bachelors and i repeat which all degrees are there you have bba and mba you have bcom and mcom you have bca bachelor in computer applications and masters in computer application you have ma in journalism you have mba in general management and a electives so these are the degrees and that's the process thank you so much satish uh, for more clarity on this uh, we have another question somebody is asking would it be acceptable for uh, to complete a master degree in canada i think uh, 
what my understanding is uh, whether this master degree will be acceptable in canada or whether he is trying to ask that uh, can can this program be attended uh, sitting in canada i think either way uh, he is trying to ask so i think uh, both aspect you can clarify satish yeah so so if if a question gentleman is that uh, can i do a masters if you do bachelors with us in online and you want to go for a masters in 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 canada yes the answer is yes you will be eligible and it is acceptable for that i already mentioned it is also evaluated under ves uh, so certainly you can go for your higher degrees in uh, in canada and if your question is if you complete masters will it help you in immigration to canada the answer is still yes and in fact there are a lot of canadian universities uh, which currently are reaching out to us trying to see how they can collaborate uh, to give better benefit to the students because they see we have huge number of students and it it will help them also so in all ways it, the answer is yes it is acceptable out there uh, okay yeah bupendra i'll take the questions directly like no some no of uh, so one of uh, mr farad has asked about whether the, whether classes will be on, held online yes the classes everything the this program will be held online there will not be any offline mode of uh, academic delivery completely the uh, academic delivery happen online but you, in case you are not able to attend the live classes the recorded sessions will be available in your learning management system okay yeah. and uh, one more question next Nahid. question also yeah nahid hassan is is a question that you can address yeah yeah, yeah I'll, I'll i'll go through whatever actually you know some which could i answer no uh, somebody has asked about actually if i join for a online degree program whether i can move, make it to in learn uh, make it in person later yes it is possible as long as you meet the uh, eligibility criteria and there will be certainly a fees difference in the uh, programs if seats are available and if if you meet the eligibility criteria you can move to the regular mode of education also but the fees will be certainly almost actually you no know, uh, 5 to 6x extra uh, when compared to regular mode of education no uh, the higher okay and one more question also khalid has asked about actually you know whether i need to sit for any skill language skill test it's not required as long because you know, this uh, the medium of instruction is going to be english it will be helpful if actually if you have a uh, good uh, at least you no know, uh, good uh, uh, good knowledge of actually you no know, english language without english no it will not be possible and uh, yes live classes as i told no live class you will the academic delivery will be actually synchronous as well as asynchronous synchronous will be like no uh, live classes asynchronous the recorded sessions will be available so it is a combination of both yeah just uh, clarity, clarity uh, dr malik on that just a clarity because this is an important part uh, so there will be live classes throughout the degree these are yes. not the recorded sessions but if you miss your live classes the same session is uploaded uh, in the uh, lms of, of all the students so that you can recap you can review and all these recorded sessions will remain with you throughout the degree even if you have completed a semester and you move to the next semester your previous data previous content your recordings everything is there with you till the time you complete and achieve your degree yes dr madan pat Uh, and also mr naeem has asked about scholarship actually already sadish has uh, touched base this one uh, uh, topic you can connect with the uh, psg for uh, what are the scholarships are available for our bangladeshi students and uh, dr uh, munik uh, one more uh, question aligned to this particular question i mean time frame of the degree program uh, which uh, you know the, the student would be able to access for in, in terms of like anybody who is unable to continue uh, the education due to any reason medical yeah. reason i think yes the time frame will yeah, how it yeah. is uh, flexible yeah see all our degree program ug degree programs are of 3 years and student has the option to complete this programs within 6 years in a pg program it is for 2 years student can complete the program in 4 years but we would like to uh, like the student to complete the program within minimum duration even the working class students also if they can spend little bit time you see this program is all about flexibility convenience it's not like no regular mode of education you have to find out some time at a particular time to study you while going in a bus you will going in a train you can just actually go, uh, browse through your uh, uh, videos no the lms contains everything it is as per your convenience so uh, we would like to do complete it the minimum duration which is actually 3 years for ug and 4 uh, uh, years for pg 2 uh, years for pg but maximum duration for ug is 6 years and pg is 4 years right 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 and uh, uh, since we have already made it clear that the uh, the coming session will be starting uh, from december 15th uh, so uh, dr malik if you can 
throw some more light towards additional learning along with the uh, along with the regular uh, learning of the degree program which student will be uh, getting enrolled uh, a particular degree along with it parallelly what other things they can learn what additional benefit they are going to get in this online mode of learning yeah as a, as we discussed in uh, in earlier part of our discussion like mm -hmm. satish also uh, told something about actually you know uh, or sera course course i talked about on coursera and satish has talked about it, industry relevant uh, video mm -hmm. fact uh, video classes like no see it's not only the faculty are going to teach uh, experts from actually industry uh, experts so companies of cfos of uh, companies some uh, startups these people also will be giving actually you know a market oriented actually you know live uh, classes every 15 days apart from that students will have access especially for pg program student will access to coursera where they can actually their entire duration within if it's a ug program for 3 years in, that is actually as of now we are not launched for ug uh, but for pg programs for 2 years he'll have that coursera where he can learn whatever how many amount of uh, certifications he want to do he can do it apart from that for ug students also we have actually our in-house uh, online certification uh, uh, programs from prolearn that will be given access to the student so you will get desktop as i was telling you know this program has been designed for conventional learners who want to acquire a degree and uh, working class who want to gain knowledge you are going to get best of both worlds a regular degree and industry relevant actually ready skills which are going to helpful for you to in your career advancement thank you so much uh, dr malik uh, for complete clarity on uh, this mode of learning and the additional benefits now we are moving towards uh, the wrap up uh, to wrap up this particular session uh, i believe we have uh, covered all the questions which we saw in the uh, comment box uh, directly who are watching this uh, program live now uh, before i wrap up uh, uh, from panelists i would like to you know take uh, a small message from uh, particularly from uh, mr uh, Mr. Mr. Nooru Zaman, uh, the CEO, sir. Uh, sir, if you can uh, give your uh, message to the uh, uh, students in Bangladesh, what would be your message in brief, sir? Before uh, we wrap. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, my message to the youths of Bangladesh is uh, just to uh, earn knowledge, mm -hmm. especially what is the uh, reason uh, why we have studied. What is the reason for study? The study is basically to uh, gain knowledge and skills, yeah. right? So right. to get, in order to gain knowledge and skills, uh, it could be face to face, it could be online, or it could be hybrid, uh, it could be blended, whatever right. maybe the modes. Uh, so just try to uh, earn knowledge and uh, try to earn skills and. Uh, no matter where from where is it is it online or it, it, it is a face to face okay. and just try to uh, learn from the leaders that's very important right that it could be the teacher leading teacher it could be leading institution or it could be uh, 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 the leading contents or uh, whatever it is so right. uh, you know that uh, nowadays uh, almost Fortune 500, almost all the companies, they do not look into the degree. They look right. into the knowledge and skills. So in that sense, uh, gaining knowledge is very important. Uh, that's all. I, I, I request, I uh, uh, train the youths of Bangladesh as well as from the globe, maybe in, from India, just earn, earn knowledge and gain skills. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for your kind words and the message uh, to the common uh, students in Bangladesh. Uh, uh, heading towards uh, uh, Dr. Malik, uh, your message uh, on behalf of Manipal University J Jaipur and as you being a director of online education, uh, what would be your message to students from Bangladesh, sir? No, uh, my only message to the students is no, as a director of online education, uh, for these programs, I assure you that you are going to get very good academic experience and best of student experience. You are going to gain a lot of uh, knowledge and new skills and we are going to uh, be accessible to you in whatever way actually it can help you. We are there for you. That's what I can assure from my side. Great, sir. Great. Thank you so yeah, much. This uh, one this program, no? 
around student student is our center of our universe that absolutely. i want to stress absolutely sir absolutely uh, thank you so much uh, for this uh, encouraging uh, message uh, to the students in bangladesh uh, mr satish kumar uh, towards the end uh, what would be your uh, message to the students from uh, degree standpoint and uh, like, you know, yeah i quite align with the uh, uh, with the sir nur zaman have mentioned you know gain knowledge uh, many times uh, as the time passes uh, as humans we go back and repent you know i wish i could have done that i wish i would have done that uh, so on and so forth so my simple message would be if you uh, wish to gain more opportunities uh, uh, in whichever potential you are if you wish to be mentored your own kids future you know especially those who are working professional you got to be relevant and to be relevant a consistent knowledge acquisition is important uh, so i would say register and uh, gain knowledge acquire more and more knowledge and increase bounds of rationality i read it somewhere people talk about creativity and innovation uh, and creativity is nothing but it comes out only the data availability with you in your mind the exposures that you have had if you have not had an exposure about something you can't be creative about it you can't bring in innovation about it. and the only way you can bring in more data increase your bounds of rationality is again the sources of knowledge so go for it and probably uh, again uh, i'm stealing it, it from bsdi or probably i would do along with after week one uh, finishes i will try to put in certain final conclusive comment along with reform uh, on behalf of reform and bsdi there is yeah, a Mr. surprise i want to keep for the last year Mr. Rupon, over to you. Yeah, uh, you know, um, the message that I would like to give uh, to our uh, youth, like if you have device, doesn't matter if it is laptop or if it is desktop or if if it is just a smartphone, uh, you have to remember, you have to believe that the whole world is open for you if you have a device. And I'm a hundred percent sure whoever. you know pursuing or uh, you know uh, trying to uh, develop their career everybody has at least smartphone so through that smartphone you can win the world because everybody is having problems so you can solve their problems using your device so you know manipal bsdi uh, we are trying to do something at least so that you can you know pursue your dream thank you so very much and hope you will join us thank you thank you so much mr rupan and uh, thank you all magnetic personalities uh, okay. as a thought leader i'm part of this panel today uh, i believe uh, we covered all the aspect of online education and before we wrap up before we cl close uh, i would like to say that you know people who think of future uh, and who prepare it today Uh, they are the winners actually i mean like you need to prepare for your future today because since this online education online learning is a new phenomena new uh, mode of uh, education it it was existing but it was not as aggressive as it is aggressive today so uh, take your decision understand the value of online mode of education and the uh, convenience yeah mr satish you would uh, want to say something yeah yeah ripon i just wanted to say that often we have seen when we do these launches in different countries uh, with potential uh, uh, collaborators like bsdi uh, there is a immediate influx you know people want to register immediately and they want to understand more and more about it so i just want to express this gesture uh, along with my elder brother here mr ripon and bsdi that we will have a very special scholarship for the first 30 student pre zero first 30 students registering uh for any of the online degrees which are there so uh make out reach out to the bsdi team uh seek information from uh, mr ripon and all the uh, team members of mr ripon is a great mentor for all of you uh, so first 30 student will have a very very special i can only emphasize it uh, so that you will get to know what this scholarship is uh, uh, from the uh, bsdi team Uh, but that's the commitment as we are having this long session today so first 30 people registering will have a very special scholarship all 30 of them all right mr satish thank you so much uh, for this announcement and uh, as i was mentioning that you know future belongs to those who decided today so it is the opportunity uh, for all the uh, people in bangladesh um, i was quite delighted to host this uh, session today 
uh, I'm privileged, uh, you know, to have all these distinguished guests and their uh, opinion about uh, the education and uh, uh, Defodil uh, uh, Education Network, which is playing a vital role uh, in Bangladesh education system. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Nuru Zaman, the CEO of uh, uh, Defodil, uh, Mr. Ripon uh, uh, from BSDI, uh, Dr. Malik, uh, Malik Arjun from Online Education, who is the Director of Online Education, Manipal University, and Mr. Satish Kumar, who is responsible for international admissions. And thank you so much for this announcement, Mr. Satish, first 30 admission and a surprising scholarship. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thanks a lot and all the best for your career. Thank you so much. We are uh, wrapping it up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for watching.